Hi, hello and welcome everybody to the first day of four that comprise the Foundation's 20 Climate Solutions Week. And uh, let me start with a thank you to our pianist, Tom Marx, who is a YouTube star, classic pianist, singer-songwriter, composer and practitioner. And you'll be listening to him quite a bit in the other onboarding times that we have in the next couple of days. We're hosting this event uh, from our studio in Hamburg in a hybrid fashion and that is uh, that I'm not alone here in the studio because I have the F20 chair Klaus Mielke with me in a couple of minutes and also the F20 general secretary Stefan Schurig. So we're going to be three people here in the studio and everybody else is online either via video or via live communications from wherever they are around the world. World. And uh, let me just uh, share with you, ladies and gentlemen of the audience, that we're looking forward to your commentaries, to your statements, to your questions that you can actually put down in the chat and we'll try to get these speakers to actually answer them. I do not need to stress these are COVID-19 times. Um, everybody is so aware of that and we've all become Zoom savvy in these last seven months. Uh, and one advantage of that is um, that you might actually see this particular thing as a recording on YouTube in a couple of hours. So if you can't stay with us the whole morning or the afternoon, no worries. There's always a, a chance for a repeat performance on YouTube. Now, as you're in the stream, again, welcome. Uh, you've already sort of uh, done the first step. The second advantage of doing things digital is, of course, um, that you have two things that pertain to the core matter of why we're getting together. First of all, we're saving the climate simply by not flying and therefore saving on CO2 emissions. And the second thing is, of course, you do actually get more people to report and to share their views from their desks than they would otherwise go to a live event, to a conference, even though, of course, we all miss live conferences. Now, um, there are so many movers and shakers in climate action that one would hardly actually get to this uh, physical event. And uh, we've actually counted over 100 people that are going to share their views with us. Uh, uh, very high ranking tomorrow morning, high power with presidents, prime ministers, etc. Uh, we have politicians, we have head of states, we have leaders of corporations, we have leaders of foundations, of course, uh, of NGOs. And especially important today, of course, we have leaders of financial institutions. Today uh, is the first day of the F20 Climate Solutions Week, co organized by the King Khalid Foundation. And today is also supported by the BMW Foundation, Herbert Quandt, and Deutsche Umweltstiftung, uh, Deutsche Bundesstiftung Umwelt, DBU. So thank you for that. As you know, this is the G20 presidency of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, and we will therefore hand over to Riyadh from time to time. And uh, our first speaker is already lined up, and I know uh, she is is there. Uh, that's uh, Her Highness Princess Besma bin Bada, the F20 co-chair. After her, I'll have the chair of the Foundation's 20 Klaus Mielke here in the studio. But now, I would just like to say hello to uh, Princess Besma, who is not just a member of the board of the trustees of the King Khalid Foundation, but uh, you're also the co-chair of the Foundation's 20, and you've prepared some greeting words, Please take it away. Yes, thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, it's an honor to welcome you today to the F20 Sustainable Finance Forum, the first day of the week-long summit entitled Resilience and Recovery, highlighting solutions for the G20 on climate and sustainability. The program is co-hosted this year, as Connie said, by the Foundation's 20 platform and the King Khalid Foundation with support from the BMW Foundation and DBU. I would like to welcome you on behalf of the Board of Trustees of the King Khalid Foundation to the G20 host country of Saudi Arabia. We are very excited to see all our global participants, inspiring speakers and guests. 
Although we were hoping to welcome you here in person to have this important dialogue, the pandemic has forced all of us to change our plans. However, it's also created an opportunity for many more people globally to be part of our gathering and contribute to the conversation. As host of the G20, it's an incredible opportunity for my country to take the lead and adopt result-oriented, forward-looking and sustainable perspectives and prepare for long-term policies and avoid excessive short-termism. This is clearly stated in Saudi's G20 2020 priorities. Empowering people, safeguarding the planet and shaping new frontiers and is very much aligned with what we hope to achieve in the next four days. I am very encouraged by all of the meetings and activities that have happened so far between the various G20 engagement groups. The level of coordination and alignment and the promising high level government meetings. As we prepare to enter the SDGs decade of action, a period that is necessary to fast track our global progress towards sustainable development, the world was caught off guard by the COVID-19 pandemic. The disruption has reached every corner of the globe and is especially affecting the development community, forcing us to rethink and reevaluate our systems, our engagement, our policies and our way of life. The primary challenge that we've been facing for many years is the lack of sufficient funding towards SDG realization. Simply put, the world has not mobilized enough funding to address the pressing challenges. There's no one recipe for sustainable finance. We must find new models, instruments, and structures. This needs, this needs continuous exploration, innovation, and dialogue like we're holding today. But even more than dialogue, it requires alignment and coordinated action of all the stakeholders as time is running short. At the King Khaled Foundation, we work on achieving prosperity for our society, and we promote sustainability locally and globally. We are proud to use our foundation's funds to support the fulfillment of global SDGs. We hope many more local and regional foundations and businesses and governments will take action after this week's discussions. Today, I look forward to hearing from our esteemed speakers and participants on the latest innovative trends and concrete examples for sustainable finance, whether it's green bonds, sustainable bonds, green loans, and hopefully other new instruments. Moreover, I'm eager to learn about sustainability conditions therein and how to strike the right balance between effective public spending and responsible private investment. I'm also excited to hear more about the alignment with the 1.5 degrees benchmark and SDGs in all of our financing efforts, as well as how central banks can become proactive agents in green recovery and how we can support low income countries through this process and many other ideas. I have no doubt that the world will spare no effort to mobilize the resources needed to achieve the SDGs, but we need these finances to be accountable to the people, to prioritize impact over profit or politics, to not compound debt distress in lower income countries, and to be subject to public scrutiny and inclusive decision-making processes. We know we're asking for significant changes. We've learned from this pandemic that we are able to make these changes as a worldwide community, even when they're uncomfortable, extreme and difficult. We did them anyway for the greater good. We as a whole can no longer say that big changes are impossible. I thank you again for joining us today and express my greatest appreciation and gratitude to the F20 leadership and secretariat who worked tirelessly with us over the last few months to put this pro program together. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, uh, Princess Besma, and thank you very much for setting the theme uh, for the next couple of days uh, with a couple of keywords uh, I think that we will repeat later on. And uh, when I turn to my right, I see Klaus Mikkel, who has already uh, joined me here in the studio. And um, you might be known to everybody, but still let me uh, say uh, two or three words uh, as the F20 uh, chair. You've been a founder, you've been uh, a businessman, you've actually uh, run a, a very important uh, NGO in Germany for more than 14 years. Uh, but most of all, you consider yourself a bridge builder, bringing different communities together and therefore, of course, uh, instigating also the Foundations 20. And um, there's one, one more key word that I've heard or what, uh, that I've read is uh, being part of the solution. Klaus, uh, the next three days, uh, the next four days, uh, what do you expect? 
Well, dear Connie, thank you very much. And thank you so much, dear Princess Besma and Osama, dear Dalia in Riyadh. Um, my regards to you there in that wonderful city. And thank you for your wonderful cooperation we already have together. Um, as chair of F20, it's a great pleasure for me uh, to welcome all of you worldwide and uh, to this fourth uh, high-level event of the international platform F20 Foundations 20. Yes, foundations can play a role for our common future. That's very important to underline. And yes, foundations and philanthropists can help to be part of the solution and to help to make a difference. The more than 60 international foundations of our platform take a stand for implementing the 2030 agenda with the SDGs and for the Paris Climate uh, Agreement. We are convinced we can be bridge builders in many dimensions and enforce the needed more ambitious action worldwide. The title for the whole week is Resilience and Recovery, COVID-19 Times, Highlighting Solutions for the G20 on Climate and Sustainability. We are just in front of important meetings in the G20 context and back to back to the G20 Ministers of Environment in Riyadh this Wednesday, the day after tomorrow, and some days ahead of the meeting of the G20 Ministers of Energy and the third G20 Sherpas meeting at the end of this month. Yes, we all can recognize today on the background of the COVID-19 pandemic, also our event is taking place in a very different format for, to our events in Hamburg in July 2017 in Buenos Aires in the beginning of September 2018 and in Tokyo in June 2019, three years before. And we are really very, very sorry that we can't be with you, dear Princess Besma and your colleagues from the King Khalid Foundation in Riyadh. It is really very negative that we can't be with you in your wonderful country. It is so important to have our sustainability debates even in your regional and local context and with many people and organizations in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. And I promise we will come over as soon as possible and we will continue the talks. There is a specific dramatic composition in the program during the next days with many different perspectives. We and I say it again, we understand ourselves as part of solutions, we want to hand over virtually on Thursday to the Sherpas of the G20 and the finance ministers of the G20, uh, via them to the heads of state of uh, G20, our F20 recommendations for the G20 in these challenging times. So we listen carefully to what we hear in the coming debates tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday. Today is the first day of our endeavor under the headline Shifting the Trillions and Sustainable Finance, an absolutely important topic. Trillions, that means trillions of dollars and a sufficient amount of money to fight the global climate crisis. So let us start now this important debate and let us focus on cooperation. Nobody is able to solve the problems alone. Before I leave, I want to thank Stefan Schurig and the F20 team and all those who made it possible that we are meeting with you all now and in the next days. And once again, my huge thank you to Princess Besma and our partner in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, the King Khalid Foundation. So let us use our time. Thank you so much, Klaus. And uh, for me, uh, it's time to say uh, thank you very much, Princess Besma, as well. We're looking very much forward to uh, seeing you again tomorrow morning uh, to get uh, us started on the second day. And uh, Klaus, as well, you're going to be my co-host uh, in the afternoon. Uh, so don't run away too far. Mm -hmm.